One of the biggest complaints that men have when they show up to the doctor, when they show up to the hospital, is that they have low energy. And I think one of the things that is missed is that many men don't know that our testosterone levels peak whenever we are 20 years old. And after that, it's declined, so it's very hard to build on muscle. And it's very hard to maintain the testosterone levels optimized. It doesn't mean that it is impossible, it is just very hard. And what happens is that testosterone affects everything, energy levels, it goes into the thyroid function, it goes into the bone, into the muscle function, into our liver, into our brain, pretty much in all of the organs. And the most important thing is that the muscle mass starts declining over the years and the strength to be able to carry our bodies through. The other piece is that many men feel like they lose a little bit of motivation or a little bit of get up and go and testosterone is directly associated with motivation, cognitive abilities, and the feeling of being able to get through the day with enough energy. So if your testosterone levels are low, this is going to be very difficult. This right here is a schematic from the American Heart Association and one of their journals. And it specifies how testosterone is involved in every organ. For instance, in the brain, it is tied to libido and cognitive function. So these are some of the symptoms in the brain. Some of the symptoms in the muscle is that you lose muscle mass and strength. Some of the symptoms in the kidney is that you're not able to make enough blood. Some of the symptoms in the male reproductive systems is that you're not able to make enough sperm and you're not able to have an erection as a man. Some of the symptoms in the blood vessels is that there is no vasodilation, meaning that the vessels become hard and stiff and therefore you end up with high blood pressure. Some of the symptoms in the skin is that you have balding and you're not able to produce the oils that keep the skin healthy. And in the bone marrow, some of the symptoms in the bone marrow is that you do not have have strong bone. Now here's the crazy thing. Look at how much testosterone has an impact in the heart itself. It improves cardiac contraction, how strong the heart is able to pump the blood through the heart. It improves the ability of the heart to protect itself, dying cells, and from turning into scar tissue. It actually improves the ability of the heart itself to get blood. And then it also improves the electric conduction, the electricity that is able to manage the heart so that the heart can beat properly, like the pacemaker of the heart. And also there are some studies that show that it improves the anti-inflammatory effects in the heart itself. And so that's why there is so much research going on right now into the effects of having low testosterone in the heart. And studies show that people with heart failure and people whose heart is not working properly if their testosterone levels are low they are going to have a higher mortality and they're going to have a lower quality of life